So this observation is with high probability, all rows in the subset agree on the jth cause ID if and only if the product of these sigmas is equal to 1. Why is this true? Well, think about it. So these, if, if there are, uh, let's see. Yes, if, if they all have the same values in this quasi ID, then all these sigma, sigmas are equal to one, okay? Then clearly the, the product of them is also equal to one. Otherwise, they, <coughs> there will be at least one uniformly random, uniformly random value. So there will be some uniformly random values times some, some ones. So, so the, the result is still a uniformly random value, and with high probability, it won't be equal to one. Okay? Now, <coughs> so recall that we can compute all the, all the encryptions of these sigma j, uh, these sigmas, uh, uh, in the in the first phase, okay, we have all the encryptions of these sigmas. So all we need to do, <clears throat> all we need to do is first we multiply all these encryptions together using the homomorphic property of the encryption scheme, and then we use a threshold decryption technique to to help the miner to get get the value of this product. And uh, the miner compares it to one and knows whether the entry needs to be suppressed. Clear? Hmm, I have confused everybody. <coughs> so the idea so the idea here is that okay, in phase one we already have the encryptions of each sigma. And now, first, using the homomorphic property, the, the miner can compute the encryption of this product. Okay? Then using this threshold decryption technique, he can decrypt this product. Then he compares this to one, and using this, this uh, new observation, he knows whether he should uh, suppress the entry because the entry should be suppressed if and only if all rows in this subset agree on this quasi ID. That's it. So, <clears throat> questions? Yes? Question about the first part, uh, if your first approach. You uh. said that my understanding is that some parts of the database are key anonymous, but some others are not. And your key will allow you to decrypt only those that have key or more records of the same plus ID. And my question is, is can I access other information at all, or it's lost to me forever? I mean, by accessing, I mean, it doesn't mean that I want to get individual entries. Maybe you can anonymize them, for example, by replacing the last uh, digit of the zip code, and there will still be key anonymous, but I'll get access to them. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so the answer to this question is that, so first, you, when the problem is formulated in this way, you have lost all the information outside the key anonymous part. Second, <clears throat> yes, you are right. Uh, it would be more desirable if we can preserve some information in the lost part. And this is why we, we want to study the second formulation. And I think maybe there are some, some, formula some other formulations that can even better capture this problem, but uh, this, is, uh, this, this might be worth <laughs> some further study. 
I mean, you don't have to replace the entire birth of date, right? You can replace the month and the day, but keep, keep the year. So there is there is some, some information that is useful to me, but it's not um, uh, not anonymous. Yeah, yeah, that's true. This is called a generalization. And uh, uh, yes, generalization um, from, from a, a privacy point of view, uh, generalization actually preserves more information than uh, the suppression approach, and uh, definitely even more information than this extraction per approach. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, the, but uh, uh, for, for the problem we study here, the question is, um, is it uh, even possible to have an efficient uh, priv and a private protocol uh, for generalization, well, uh, I have not uh, rigorously uh, investigated this problem, but uh, my guess is it's pretty difficult. Yes? You mentioned efficient. Uh, have you done a complexity analysis or communication complexity analysis of this protocol? Well, I didn't. Uh, so I cannot give you the precise uh, Analysis, but uh, um, a rough analysis is that it's polynomial time and the polynomial uh, com uh, communication complexity. Uh, <clears throat> so I think uh, by efficient, uh, yes, actually you are right. Uh, it's uh, it's not a, I'm not terribly precise here. So by efficient, uh, I mean first uh, uh, it has to be polynomial. Second, uh, we don't want to uh, too high orders. For example, yeah. I'm just the reason I'm asking you is you're saying polynomial, but you said that the mm -hmm. group size uh, over which you were operating was mm -hmm. exponential. Exponential in what? In a security parameter. Oh, okay. Not in the size of the database. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. You're, you're also checking for all subsets sometime, right? All subsets of quiz uh, identifiers. The last protocol you get, give mm -hmm. checks for all subsets of quasi identifiers. Am I right? The all protocol. subsets of quasi identifiers. No, all all quasi identifiers. Not all subsets of quasi identifiers. So you don't do different combinations of. No, 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 no. That would be too 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 inefficient. Yes. And the other question is in the first one, is there? Is it possible to have a probing attack? First the one? This one? Yeah. Yes. Probing? Can you? Because the thing is, uh, if the key used to decrypt something based on a public function of the cross side and fire, mm -hmm. the miner can say, for example, look whether there is a birthday with this date, and then look for the key of this date, and then try to decrypt the functions to see whether there's a person like that. So you, say, you said that, if I didn't get it wrong, mm -hmm. the key to decrypt something will depend on the a function of the quest identifier. No, that, that was the pseudo solution, not, a, not a, the final solution. Oh. You didn't tell us the final solution, right? I, I did. Here. This is the final solution. But the, if, if I have one of those, so I know uh, once I learn the, the, so the key, the key is based on each so, so the miner doesn't know the encryption key. So who generated this polynomial? Who generates this polynomial? Ah, this this is a good question. So <clears throat> this needs to. So actually, I hide this uh, this this in the paper. Uh, 